up, y'all. If y'all can't tell, I'm feeling this beat. I'm feeling this beat. I like this beat a lot. Ooh, real quick, I want you to drop a like and drop a comment onto this video before we get into it. Because, you know what I mean? Y'all can see the project. I'm really finna give y'all the sauce on how to make unique beats for Draco that he could actually get on. You feel me? So, you know what I mean? Just, just hook your boy up real quick. What's up? My name is Devin. I also go by Infinite or Pop by Infinite. And today, we're going to be making a beat for Draco the Ruler. And we're actually going to be making it from scratch. So, I'm going to show you how I did this melody right here. So I'm going to break down the loop for y'all real quick. First one is this SRX Studio. This is a little guitar right here. This is the flamenco guitar. All right, so right there, that's the backbone of the loop. And I kind of just based everything else around that with like layering and other counter melodies and stuff like that. Also, I'm going to address these parts right here, like the like the little dun 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 dun. Like all you have to do to get those is go to the little magnet right here, go on to one third step. And then all you have to do is just make them be separated by four spaces. So that's all it is. So look, it's just four spaces. Boom, boom. And then that's how you get it. I usually like messing around with the velocity a little bit with it. Just because it adds a little bit more uh, of a realistic touch to it. You know what I mean? As you can see, none of these velocities are the same. You know what I mean? They're all hitting at like different spots. And that's how normally it would be if someone were to play something. The next thing that I have is this SRX Studio ATK flute. And it's basically the same melody. I just... Um, I just did the command L feature, you know, where you just make everything like go like that. And I kind of just like tinkered with it a little bit just so it didn't match the original melody too much, but it kind of went together with it. So this is what it sounds like by itself. And then one more instance of SRX Studio. If you guys can't tell, I really like SRX. So this one, it's just like a regular pad, I believe. Yeah, so it's like, a, it's the second preset, but I turned off all the other uh, layers to the sound except for the last one, because just because I wanted it to be kind of like a textural kind of like pad layer. So this one, I'm actually going to render it out because I noticed that it kind of drags on a little too long. And as you can see with the pattern, I just used the regular MIDI from the guitar. Then the last thing I did was I went into Analog Lab 5. Come on, pull up, pull up, pull up. Went to the loophole, sound bank, and then used the baby, the baby angelic pad. It's my favorite pad. It literally goes with everything. It's like so versatile and fluid. Um, as you can see, same pattern as the guitar. And this is what it sounds like by itself. And now all that there is left to do is to throw some drums on it, arrange it, mix, master it, and then I'm going to try to get it to Draco. I'm going to try my best. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to try to make it happen because I feel like this vibe is it, it's right for him. You feel me? All right, so before we get into the drums, um... There's a little bit of part where I accidentally have my mastering system on them, so my drums were really, really harsh. Uh, but from after the hi-hats, like, I turn off the ozone, 
You know what I mean? So now my drums are hitting regular. I was sitting there wondering, I'm like, what's going on with my drums? Why do they sound so harsh? Then I figured it out, so we're all good now. <laughs> All right, so, so far, I like the bounce of the drums. We got some hi-hats in there, got some percussion in there, got some sound effects in there, uh, got this little snap thing going. And all, in all honesty, I'm pretty happy with where everything is sitting right now. So I'm gonna mix the melody down a little bit, create some room, and then I'm gonna lay down the kick and 808.
this is this this goes so crazy. I mess with this heavy. These 808 sealed it for me. Like this little this little do do do. Ah, oh, this goes so crazy. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take these uh, 808s. I'm gonna copy it over to the kick, and then I'm just gonna delete some of the notes, just so like the 808 bounces a little bit more. So now that we took out some of the kicks, uh, the 808 is gonna be like a little bit more bouncy. You know what I mean? So like, especially on like these notes where it's like boom, 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 like boom, 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 like all that stuff, like having the kick being taken out for this part and then coming back on like that more impactful hit, it's going to go way harder. So uh, since these are all on different notes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Option K or if you're on Windows, hit Alt K and then it'll bring it over to C5 and it brings all the notes to C5. Um, if this doesn't work for you, all you have to do is make sure that the C5 is the only one that's highlighted. y'all if y'all can't tell i'm feeling this beat i'm feeling this beat i like this beat a lot uh i might just turn down the kick a little bit just because i feel like it's kind of like a little overbearing but uh we're gonna master it real quick we're gonna master this real quick all right And there you go. That is how you can make a beat for Draco the Ruler from scratch. And make it something that actually sounds kind of unique that he would actually hop on. You know what I mean? Like, this don't sound like every other beat. But it's still within that realm that he could get on it. You know what I mean? So, with that being said, my name is Devin. I'll go by Infinite or Prop by Infinite. And peace out.